Hey there, today we're diving into adjusting audio in your clips, making it louder and quieter. Let's start by playing some audio to show how it works. Here's the only nine steps editors like you need. In the timeline, move your cursor over the audio waveform until it changes into this special cursor. It looks like two triangles pointing up and down. Click and drag this line up and down to change the volume. Want to use the keyboard? Select the clip and press Control and the equal sign to make it louder. For quiet time, press Control and minus. To adjust the volume with a slider, head to the inspector. If you don't see it, click this icon with the three sliders. Next, click on the audio inspector. Slide the volume bar left to make it quieter and right to make it louder. You can also click and drag on the volume number to change the volume. Drag up to make it louder. Drag down to make it softer. If you need a specific volume level, click on the volume number, enter the volume, and press enter. For a quieter level, enter a negative number. We can even change the volume for a specific part. Switch to the Range Selection tool by pressing R. Select the area where you want to lower the volume. Drag down on the volume bar or press Control and minus. This is great for turning down background music when someone is speaking and it's called audio ducking. To undo all volume changes, select the clip, go to Modify, Adjust Volume, and then select Reset. Quickly turn off audio by selecting a clip and pressing V. Be careful, this also turns off the video. To turn it back on, press V again. For total silence, choose Modify, Adjust Volume, and Silence. My wife wishes I had that feature. Did you hear that? That's the sound of a pro editor liking this video. If you're finding these tips handy and want to be like that other editor, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks. We can also see our audio levels by looking at these meters below the viewer. Click the icon once to show larger audio meters. They'll be on the right side of the timeline. As you play the audio, these bars show the levels. If it goes too high and turns red, it means it's too loud. Fix it by hovering over the waveform and dragging down. Or select your clip and press Control and minus. You'll hear the change and see the levels drop in the meter. Reset the warning by clicking on it. Play your audio back. Next, I'll show you how to make a custom intro with... If no warnings, you're good to go. Now that you're a volume master, you're ready for my 12 sound editing rules in Final Cut Pro. Just click here to learn more.